Each paper has been marked with a line using a pencil. The paper is made up of cellulose and we are adding concentrated purple Kool-Aid on the line right where the pencil mark is. We are going to make four chromatograms because we're going to test four different solvents and we're going to see which solvent gives us the best separation. Once these chromatograms are prepared, we will place them in their containers that already have their solvents in them and they are capped to ensure that the air inside the bottles becomes at equilibrium. The solvents we are using is 70% isopropyl, 25% isopropyl, 5% isopropyl, and water. The chromatography paper that we're using is made up of cellulose, which is a polymer of simple sugar glucose, and is thus very polar because of the OH groups found in the glucose. So we've placed the one paper into the container and notice that the solvent is not touching our dot that we made. We're now going to add the others to the bottles. Our bottles are now prepared, our caps are closed, and we are going to let these continue so that the columns become complete. Once all of the columns are in their respective solvents, we will check back in 10 to 15 minutes when they're finished. Here are the chromatograms completed. Notice that a line has been drawn at the top to show the solvent front. For water, that line is at 7.09 centimeters. For the 5%, it's 6.71 centimeters as its solvent front. Then the blue and red dye have been separated. Here are the 25% and 70%. We do not have nice separation, so we are not going to use those chromatograms. If we go back to water and the 5%, we can see where the blue lines are and the red line fronts are. And we will use this data to complete the lab.